Hey Sans and welcome back to another test video. So you decided to go ahead and start it off with a uh, full build AI tournament, which is considered a 3v1 because there's going to be uh, kind of like a 3v1. There's three different fights. Now, it's going to be these two fight, then two other two AIs fight, and then the winner versus the winner. So that's three fights just like a 3v1. Therefore, it's going to be treated as a 3v1. Just in case, go ahead and clarify that because I totally forgot that. That was actually one of the choices since you know, no one has been really picking that. Uh, choice for AI tests in a while, so yeah, just to clarify. So, uh, you are trying out different AIs on uh, King Vegeta. So, starting off, we have King Vegeta full build. So, he has Eternal Life, Key Plus One, Finding Spirit, Ignition with Broly AI. Going up against King Vegeta, same build with Tien AI. Uh, transformations are on, and yeah, if he wants to turn it, go ahead. So, his usual Piccolo AI is, uh, you know, being questioned. Uh, you know, if you're not, if you haven't been paying attention to the Blaze tournament, they've been going up against uh, King Vegeta, and uh, he has his ups and his downs. Uh, sometimes he just blatantly just kicks butt and wins, and then other times he uh, he just does really derpy. And I'm not sure if it's you know King Vegeta himself or maybe the field, because you know sometimes I do see some derps happen on the Blaze field. I'm uh, not sure if it's giving them a kind of unfair advantage against other teams or what, but you know lately I've been seeing the uh, little bit of that so uh, I mean, I'm not sure I guess you can go ahead and see uh, which AI does best today and then you can go ahead and request change since AI changes technically don't count both of them that backpowered as a big change execution beam connects for 9k from uh, from Tien so far Tien definitely in the lead nice ping pong from Broly but Tien with a counter ping pong yeah but yeah, so, you know, we can go ahead today, we can go ahead and figure out which AI is the best for him, and then we can go ahead and make the AI change, because AI changes, you know, don't change much. Yeah. And Blades, they, they, they're about to really wuss out, so... Pretty much, King Vegeta has been wrecking a lot of the Blades' faces, and the reason why he's been wrecking that face is because of his 8 transformation. Wally connects to 4.3. And, uh, pretty much on the first day, he beat two out of the three people and almost beat the third person and one of the major factors the reason why he was winning is because he could turn eight and uh pretty much the blades when they uh they did their set part two the next day they're testing the three their uh, next videos of uh three one v ones execution being connects from roly but yeah I'm definitely uh in the lead king of sands connects uh they, i think they were so scared that uh, i saw that before he edited the post uh, he said, uh, transformation's off for, uh, King Vegeta, and I told him no, no, and not only is that, uh, cheating, because you're really, you're altering and making your opponent weaker in the middle of your own tournament, but you kind of wuss him out, you know, and if they would've just, uh, if they would've argued with me and said, like, no, don't do that, we want, you want transformations off, it's not fair, blah, 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 and they were gonna start crying about it, I was just gonna start calling them the, you know, the toy swords, I was gonna call them the blades if they wanted to be like that, you know, it's not like he does the transformation, you know, at max health or something, he does it on his last bar. He didn't, no, no transformations this fight, you know? And that was another factor that was, uh, uh, happening, is that he'd have the three bars, he'd be on his last health bar, but instead he would rather do, uh, King of Sands. Well, he already started off in TN, 4.3. So, you know, it's not guaranteed that he's gonna transform, and if he does, you know, just throw a B2 at him, you know? But I guess the Blades weren't you know, competent enough to go ahead and handle that, and, you know, you really can't blame it on King Vegeta, you know? I have to say, if you're so afraid of King Vegeta, and that you need to, ner to neuter him, then you're not looking at a very good promising season this season, huh, Blades? So, Broly is at max power, is he gonna do anything with it? That is another thing that I saw a lot against the Blades, he definitely liked to do his ultimate. Doesn't look like it, though. No, because no, he uses max power, execution beam, misses from TN. Wally, that connects for 4.4. And right now, Broly is not doing enough B2s. And that was what's wrong with Piccolo and the Blades fight sometimes. He, would, he wouldn't do enough B2s. He would launch like maybe one or two each fight. And it's like, you know you're a spam build, right? You know, he's supposed to charge up, launch B2s. You know, he'd be, he'd be getting in fight and melee fights with like, you know, Super Saiyan Sword Trunks on his uh, melee build. And it's just like, why are you trying to melee a melee fighter, right? What's wrong with you? Like, keep your distance, launch B2s. Volley from Tien misses. Well, more dodged. But, yeah. It was just sometimes 
Did they just cancel each other out? Yeah. That's exactly what happens. And I just kind of looked at each other like, hmm. <laughs> Another problem with King Vegeta is just melee game is bad. Ugh, bad. Uh, slow and stringy. Wally, that's power of Wally. Next, they're only 5.7. With Exhumation, only for 5.7, that is a weak to too. Um. What was I talking about? I totally forgot what I was talking about. Yeah, his melee. It's very elongated and stringy. Wally. Next. Yeah. I compared I compared King Vegeta's melee to Majin Buu, where it's very elongated and stringy, not the best melee. And you know, when he was trying to get in melee fights with really good meleeers, he was ended up getting his butt kicked. Somehow he miraculously still won. You know, I think definitely the eternal life just, you know, healing up and keeping him in the fight was definitely helpful. You know, really tried to do King of Sands, but you know, as well he connects and then and then uh, Tien decides to go ahead and do King of the Sands as well. And Broly needs to step up his game. It's a close fight, but he needs to step up his game immensely. Because he's already down by a round. You know? At this rate, it definitely looks like uh, Tien might be taking it 2-0. Oh, definitely. Right now, it seems like Tien is much more likely to uh, throw out B2s. Uh, you know, Broly's not really a B2 AI, but, you know, you guys go ahead and crest it. Well, I think it might be over. Yep, it's over. Alright, so Tien wins and is moving on to the finals of this little AI tournament. So I am going to go ahead and get the other two AIs. Be right back. Alright, so we got two other AIs who will be uh, facing off against... One of them will be facing off against Tien. So we have Krillin AI and Majin Buu AI. So currently, I, you know, on paper, it looks like a pretty good candidate. It's a nice AI that likes to spam B2, spam Rush Blast, stuff like that. You know, and, you know, there's no problem with uh, King Vegeta spamming Blast. You know, keep your palm at a distance, spam Blast, and, you know, heal up with Eternal Life while you throw B2s from a distance. You know, sounds fun to me. That has to be Clash. I can do AI wins it. Oh, I guess, you know, on paper, you know, doesn't always work out like that. But definitely on paper, it does seem like it'll work. So far, not a single B2 has been launched by either one of them. Lots of melee, though. There's nothing wrong with it. I said his melee is just not that good. <laughs> you, know, you, know, you, know, you know who likes the melee? Yourself. Currently, I connect with that for 4.8. You know, but if he went up against, like, I think that was one of the reasons why he lost against Bardock bad. You know, you know that past video where you put uh, King Vigil up against Bardock. Bardock has better melee games than him. Ajin Buu's volley mostly misses. Krillin charging up. Krillin going for max power. Ajin Buu charging up. Ajin Buu at max power. Well, we see an ultimate from either one of them. Ultimate from Krillin. Dodged by Majin Buu. Right now, Majin Buu is definitely in the lead. Execution beam by Majin Buu connects for 9.7. And definitely, Majin Buu is just taking it to Krillin. Krillin, turn into an 8. No shame in your game, man. Definitely, I think the best 8 Super Explosive Wave. His B2s are so good. Super Explosive Wave. Connects for 11k. Ooh! Wally from Majin Buu. He has only a little bit more to do. Super Gallic Gun. Miss block? I don't, I don't know. Hit the wall. So can Majin Buu AI do it, or will the ape win it? Nope, he wins it. <laughs> he takes him out. He takes down the ape. Alright, fight again. So round one goes to Majin Buu. Volley from the trailer. Connect for 4.8.
Nice B class. Berlin wins it. Berlin definitely in the lead right now. Execution beam, execution beam. We got a beam struggle. Who's going to win it? Mm. Majibu wins it for 11k points of damage. And already in his face. Punching it. Wally, the Majibu. Wait, that's a curling one? Yeah, my Majibu wins it. And once again, looks like Majibu is taking it to Krillin. Krillin has a lot of work. Wally, connect for 6.2. And Krillin has a lot of work to do if he wants to bring back this fight. He's, he's down by a bar. An ultimate would definitely help. If he wants an ultimate, there's no shame in that. Try to jump back and let's just try to jump back and do something. An ultimate connects from Krillin. Next for 16.4k. Ultimate from <laughs> an ultimate from uh, Majin Buu and it's over. You're like, haha, you hit me with an ultimate, I hit you with an ultimate. 17.1. And, and Tien will be going up against Majin Buu. Alright, and then the winner of that will be going up against Piccolo. Alright, so let me go get that set up. Be right back. Alright, so we have Tien AI versus Majin Buu AI. Which AI will win it? Which one will be facing off against Piccolo in a separate video? You know, because you get one 3v1 and then one 1v1, so yeah. Thought it was fair, thought it was fair. So. Alright, now. Again, the nice melee combo into a volley, which mostly misses, but I'll give you an A for effort. Right now, Tien is just out mailing Majin Buu AI. Tien charging up. Execution beam by Tien. Dodged by Majin Buu. You know, keeping your distance usually wouldn't be bad. You get to heal up and turn life, but you both have to turn alive, so. And all you're doing is just lay on him to heal while you heal. And that's not really what you want to do. You know, unless he's at max health. But... Wally. Connects for 3.3. That was a nice combo once again by Tien. Tien just dominating this fight. Tien tried to backflip him and go and do something, but that get out of it. Looks like Tien, max power. Will we see an ultimate? Will we see a B2? What will we see? Execution beam. A rush bash into a, a nice. That was smart. Rush blast into a into a B2 is smart because they'll try to block the rush blast and then get hit with the B2. It's a really smart uh, tactic. We'll use it on uh, Gotenks Boo, and guess what AI Gotenks Boo was on. <laughs> so yeah, that was smart. Tian AI. No surprise there. All right, both of them at max power. Orga Blaster and Ultimate dodged by Majin Buu. Good, because that was about to be over. <laughs> that would connect it. Majin Buu tried to jump back and do something, but got hit by Tien, and Tien jumped back and decided to do, hit him with a volley. And will Majin Buu do anything with his max power? He does King of Sands. See, and that's what I'm saying. You know, he has his ape. He could have went ape, but he decided to do King of Sands instead. He would rather have like a temporary uh, boost in stats than turn into a giant monkey. That would do wreck. So I'm not sure if, if Tien will allow him to survive until he gets, you know, back up to three blast offs. But, you know, like I said, it's not guaranteed he'll turn eight. You know, now, now, <laughs> he used one for max power. Orca Blaster again from Tien. Dodged by, by Majin Buu again. Like, Tien really wants to do that ultimate, but... Majin Buu just won't let him connect. Lolly, Execution Beam, connects for 11k. Tien has enough last stock to turn ape. If he wants to. 
and Majin Buu bringing this back to a pretty even fight. Dodging all those ultimates definitely kept him in this game, because one of, one of those ultimates would have connected would have been over, but he dodged both of them, so. He almost has enough blast box to turn into an ape. He's almost there, actually. Yep, he just made it in time. I know. All the luck with Majin Buu right now. Will he end up winning this because he ends up dodging all the ultimates and and turning into an ape? And I wasn't sure if he was going to be able to do it, but he did it. The only problem is 1B2 from, uh... Actually, 1B2 from either side will end it. Ape at max power. Lolly. Next, and Tien is just, he's just like, hey, hey, you're so close to winning, so close, but no. And Tien wins round one. Alright, fight again. So will Tien take it 2-0? Well and go ahead and go against Piccolo? Or Majin Buu redeem himself in this fight? Like I said, he was dodging them ultimates. Like I said, if one of them ultimates would have connected, it would already have been over, but he kept dodging them. That's smart. I can do a max power, volley from Tien. Connects for 2.2k. Uh, volley from Tien again. Connects for 550. Yeah, so weak. <laughs> Missing and weak. <laughs> That move's already weak, the last thing you need to do is miss. Nice melee combo by uh, Majin Buu, doesn't do anything with his max power now. Execution Beam connects for 9.4. And now Majin Buu is definitely in the lead. Yup by about a bar. Less than a bar. Volley, nice melee combo. Once again, you, you try to do that melee combo into a volley, it never really works, but I'll give you an A for effort though. Lolly from TNAI misses. TNAI charging up while wow, Majin Buu just kind of flies around. That's a pretty good melee combo. Majin Buu also showing that he could do a good melee combo on Majin Buu in the lead by over a bar now. King of Sands, Lolly. Lolly connects before uh, King of Sands can go off. King of Sands by Tien, uh, does not connect, does not connect, gets hit out of it by Majin Buu. And once again, Majin Buu still up by a bar. Definitely looks like Majin Buu wants to take this to round three. Thing is, will Tien turn into an eight? I'm not sure if Tiana has turned into an ape that I've seen. Did he? I can't remember. But he's gonna turn into an ape. Now would be the time. Now would be the time. Lolly. An X. 5.4. You wanna turn into an ape? Yep, turn into an ape. Now you gotta be careful. A volley isn't enough to finish the ape form right now, but definitely execution beam is. Uh, he doesn't get up to max power. Super explosive wave. Connects for 11.5k points of damage. Another super explosive wave. And Tien is just getting sacky with it. He brought this fight all the way back. All the way back in 8 form. And it's over. Tien wins it. Alright, so that was good. So it will be TNAI going up against Piccolo in the next video. So I hope that this test was helpful. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting me as a tester. And I will see you in the next test video.